Why are we meeting him again? That's twice in the one week I've had to look at his stupid face. I can't handle it. And he eats with his mouth open. Well, we won't eat. We'll just talk. Yeah, well, unfortunately, he talks with his mouth open, too. Menus? No, we're not eating, thanks. Um, hi, Dad, Kevin, do you want a tea or something? You making eyes sexy? Am I? Well, I like the bag dipped in and out, slowly, yeah? In and out. And I like it hot, wet and steamy. All right, then. Dad, can you do us a tea, please, for table five? Kevin wants to dip his bag in and out. And how did you take that, Kevin? Just hot, please. He wants it hot and steamy. How hot and steamy shall I get it, Kevin? You don't want to burn your tongue. Just regular hot, Tommy. Can you please tell me why we're here? Yeah, look, uh, I don't get all sensitive about this, Dave, but um, Kevin was, was talking about our, our problem. Well, uh, and... What problem? Well, the problem of me still not being pregnant. Yeah, but what's Kevin going to do to... You couldn't be about to tell me what I think you're about to tell me, could Kevin you? Kevin has um, suggested donating sperm to us. No. No, I didn't just hear my wife say that she wants my idiot brother's baby. Don't talk about him like that. He's your brother, your blood. It would be the next best thing. The next best thing to having my baby is having Kevin's baby. All of his kids have got ADS. We don't even know if there's anything wrong with my sperm anyway. Well, it's more likely to be you with the problems. What? Why? Well, look at me. Look, don't get the wrong idea, Dave. There'd be no foreplay. There'd be no kissing. Well... There'd be no anything, because Kevin would just be handing over, you know, a, a vial or, or a, a test tube. Really? Yes. Well, I mean, whatever you think, Kevin, but apparently it really does improve the chances if there is penetration, because it gets it right up there. But don't worry, Dave, you know, I'll cover in a sheet or something. I don't believe this. <laughs> I mean, hang on a minute. This is the ultimate sacrifice I'm willing to make for you. Shagging my wife is a sacrifice for you, is it? Yeah, well, that and a small matter of the token payment, a <coughs> thousand pounds, but that's just for my trouble. You want me to pay you to have sex with my wife? I'm providing a service, bro. What service, exactly? It's not as if you're going to be carrying it around for nine months. You're not giving birth to it. Where's the sacrifice? The sacrifice will be in staying away, not having any part in its life. Never hearing it call me daddy. That's what you do with all your kids. Dave, that's just unfair. What are you sticking up for him for? He's just asked for money to shag you. I'm not continuing this conversation. Dave, just, just wait. I'll, just think about it for a minute, OK? We, we don't have to use Kevin's sperm right away. We could just freeze it, and then when we're ready... I could do some fresh stuff. Yeah. And if all else fails, we, we know we, we always have Kevin's sperm to fall back on. I think you should go. Right. Oh, it's uh, Zita's third birthday next week. I thought you might. It's her fifth birthday. She's she's five. She five. <sighs> wow. Well, well it'd be nice for you to come round. You know. I'm sure, she'd love to see her already, Karen. Yeah. All right. I'll give you a bill. See you.